Welcome back to another episode of the wonderful world of Luna. And I did some rough experimentation and a little bit of exploring and some stuff off camera. I planted some saplings over here too. I don't know if these are even going to grow, but I'll try. Um, I have discovered... Where's here? Castle Wall. This node is perfect for making the walkways for the, the beach over here. So we are going to start work on that. And... Wow, diamond shovel digs super fast. That makes a very nice walkway, I think. Now does the diamond diamond shovel will not dig that excellent. So the question really becomes, where do I want this walkway all going? I know I'm gonna have some kind of a dock set up over here. And the dock will probably be wood to about this point. At which point it should become this node that I'm going to be using. Now this is actually the castle wall node. And it's crafted by using cobblestone and desert stone. And it takes two of those to give you one castle node. So. It is a touch on the expensive side. However, I have absolutely no shortage of cobble. And... Well, I do not currently have a super abundant supply of desert stone. There is actually a very small desert right across the way there, which is where I grabbed all my desert cobble from and then cooked it up. So it's nearby. It's ready to go. It can be used in the circular saw, which is a huge deal because I may end up wanting to make some special shaped nodes or something so it'll be nice to have that functionality available Ooh, coal i actually need that but i don't have a pickaxe in that case i'll cover over it excuse me mr bear i'm kind of trying to put a sidewalk in here excuse me excuse me okay well uh Guess we will wait for the natural wildlife to make their own leisure getaway. And we'll use some stone slabs here for whoops for easy climbing. Oh, oh no! I'm gonna have to go get some metal to make a pickaxe. Or you know what? Nope, I don't have any cobble on me. Yep, let's go over to the castle and get some metal for a pickaxe. In fact, I might have a pickaxe. Nope, I don't. I was going to say I might have one sitting in that chest, but clearly not. I mean, I have an anvil over here, so the tools can be repaired, but I must have not been paying attention to the wear indicator. And so, used it all up. The bear's still chilling in there? Come on, man. That's not, that's not a fun place to be. It's not overly safe. Whoops. That's alright, though. It has to come down anyway. Okay, so let's go put a solid node. Then a row of slabs. Wow, why do why do the wild animals just want to be here? I don't get it. There's really nothing nothing so great here. Come on, Mr. Bear. I'm trying to trying to improve the habitats. Actually, I'm destroying their natural habitat. I'm trying to make this a prosperous port country. And you know where you benefit from that, Bear? You benefit because people are going to start throwing garbage on the streets. And then you, in turn, will be able to eat said garbage. Oh. Whoa. And now I can't hit it. Oh, and the... Wow, I didn't think they'd both attack me. The bear I expected, sure. 
It was after all killing it. But the wolf or wild dog, whatever we want to call that, I don't know why it would have attacked me. I did nothing to provoke it. Okay, well, we have it wide, but then it narrows because there's really no reason for it to be super wide. Now, I'm wondering... I could do this all with slabs and recess it in, but I don't think there's any real advantage to that. It might look cool, though. Yep, we're going to do that. Though, is that going to adversely affect anything else? Like, if I want to do any special angle to note or anything. Because it won't be sitting on the surface, I really can't. Hmm, let me... There we go. I'm not even really sure what shapes there are that would potentially be even useful. Wall panels, stairs, stairs... Some angled corners, some opposite angled corners. See, if there was like a slope that was only as wide as a slab, that would be cool, but there's not. So, the only thing I can think of would be making slopes that I may want to use. So, I think I will be okay if I put them all recessed which wow that's weird the slab takes longer than the full mode hmm okay that's odd there thank you thank you thank you alrighty oh wait and the slabs. Evidently rotate. Alright. So, slabs all have to be placed the same direction in world, or they will end up looking goofy. Which isn't necessarily a big deal, it's just something to be aware of. Alright, so now I think shovel would be the appropriate tool here. And let's put some sand in there. Not that it matters, but... Okay, and then slab here, which honestly... Ah, did not want to orient it that way. There we go. I think... That I will probably be okay if I leave this how it is. Yeah. So it's not recessed underneath, but I'm going to have the wooden dock there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so then... Let's see... We'll kind of do something like this, I think. And I want to put a f fountain in, a, I'm thinking, in the, the center of the, the port area here. So somewhere around-ish here, I'm thinking I'll put a fountain in. So hopefully these slabs don't come back to bite me in the butt when it comes time to build said fountain. So I could see that being an issue. Like, I want to put a fountain in, and because I used slabs, for some reason, things won't match up. Which would be pretty sad. And I would be... Oh, I'm going to have an issue here. No, wait. No, I don't. I will do... Oh, come on. And I'll put some sand in that hole. And then the walkway. That works. 
Okay, so now that we have established that that method is working and looks okay, let's go ahead and and see what needs to be changed. This walkway has a few narrow points. I think it should be widened. And because I want to put that fountain in the side, I'm going to widen to this side. Alright, so we have that. Uh, we should probably put a path in to here. And while we're at it, let's clear out the ground there. And for right now, I'll just do these nodes. Which, yeah, these, they don't care. They always place the same direction, but the slabs vary. Okay, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just something to note. And let's make this as wide as that and put the pathway nodes in here. Da -da 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 -da. And I can't place that one, but there we go. All right, and then this can go away. And let's see. We'll kind of come off here, maybe. And then widen out there. And I want to get some lighting in here, too. Ah, didn't want one there. Oh, come on. Didn't want it going there either. It needs to be on the ground. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm out, and I need three more. Well, let's go ahead and just throw a torch there. I mean... If you have streets, you have to have lights. Torches on the ground are a pretty poor implementa imp implementation. It looks horrible, basically, is what I'm saying. So I need to figure out some kind of street light. I may use, like I have up on the top of this, those light boxes, and just put them on posts. That would probably work pretty well. Um, but I think now because it's dark, I'm going to leave off on the building and show a few things that I did off camera uh, so I got the whole roof on this house and realized after I had 95% of the roof done that it was one node too high so instead of the uh, the eaves or whatever this is here being at this height it was one node higher so I had to take everything down and lower it by one node because the inside was just so high and it was kind of crazy high actually we still have the lookout tower absolutely nothing changed there I put a bedroom in here it has a sloped roof as well so a little bit lower of a roof than outside bedroom will eventually or bed will eventually be in the bedroom there some kind of a little kitchen area here I made this window a little shorter uh, and then I used pine wood for the under roof stuff there there and on the wall here and that's pretty much the changes that I did to the house off camera I may eventually put two floors into the tower here maybe even just one just so I can get some lighting running through more of it instead of putting the this light on the floor I could put a floor in, say, where the black ring is here, and put a light on the top like I had there. And I could also put, you know, some stuff here. It could be like a little study or something. I don't know. I mean, there's really no reason that it needs anything, because it's not really meant to be a habitation per se. But, you know, it's the little touches that make it look more polished, and this just looks kind of weird. And it would look weird even if I had stone underneath the glass. But 
Yeah, or I could do... I could put torches on the walls. I mean, it would probably work better the... The whole super glow glass thing kind of doesn't fit with the medieval theme that I'm sort of building in. But then again, the entire roof in here, well, I shouldn't say the entire roof, but all of the lighting in the warehouse is done with super glow glass labs. So I don't know. We'll see what I decide upon when I, I guess, decide. So, uh, with that, let's, let's wrap this video up. Um, what, what do I need to, what do I need to tell you guys here? Uh, I have no idea. If you like my videos, you should subscribe to my channel. And, um, oh, and something else fun. I am planning at some point to start a, I don't know if I'm going to use Moodle or I don't even know how it's pronounced, Udemy, U Udemy, Udemy, I don't know, U-D-E-M-Y, it's a, it's a paid source, paid site, I don't know, where you can uh, take a course to learn something, and this has actually been an idea I've had for a while, to do a, like a curriculum to teach kind of coding, and while teaching coding, learn how to write mods for mind test and stuff like that. So I'm I've had the idea for a while. I need to get some stuff written down and get some ideas kind of really solidified and start work on that. And uh, yeah, hopefully actually start making some real money off of this instead of a couple pennies here and there off of ad revenue. So that's something to look forward to probably beginning 2018 or something it's it's a long ways off but uh there'll be there'll be more updates on that in the future if you're interested definitely swing over to my website there's going to be an article up on that actually long before this video even goes live it'll be there and uh yeah i'm kind of interested in hearing what the community thinks about it and seeing uh seeing what kind of ideas get thrown around and yeah hopefully something will come of it and I'll at least make enough money to, oh, I don't know, run a server and pay my internet bill. That'd be cool. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.